to make it whatever she put her mind to. Late night hours up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. Hello and good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. We're on episode seven of Vlogmas in July now and I'm having a very good time. I had a lovely evening last night. I just chilled out, edited, watched the telly, did quite a bit of knitting, though I was a little bit irresponsible and I ended up staying up really, really late, like two o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't fall asleep. I find it really hard when my husband's not here and I didn't have a, a child come and crawl in with me, so I was lonely. <laughs> So I am quite tired today, but today is just going to be a very chilled out, quiet, relaxed at home day. If you can hear any noise or any banging in the background, then that's the carpenter, he's the carpenter. He's still working on the stairs, so I apologise. Um, whilst we're on apologies, <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot to put the timestamp in yesterday's video. So if you saw the sock colour and didn't want to see it, big apologies, but you know, come on we're there now um i also wanted to say sorry for the banging of the kids at the end of the last chatty bit i know it can be really difficult to concentrate on what someone's saying when there's a lot of noise in the background i just don't hear it anymore i just don't hear the kids so i probably would have re-recorded if i'd realized so i do apologize if you weren't able to listen to that last bit of chat but i was probably talking rubbish anyway so it's thursday jeff is back at school thank goodness and i've had a really nice productive morning so far i've just been cleaning and tidying and sorting i deadheaded the roses i made a smoothie which was yummy um in my smoothies i like to have it's it, always the same thing i always make the same smoothie and it's mainly banana and peanut butter but i also put in like um frozen spinach i find spinach doesn't actually taste of anything in a smoothie and it's one of the few ways i can tolerate spinach and it's good for me <laughs> and then a bit of frozen mango honey chia protein powder greek yogurt and it's just yeah delicious it's what i have when i kind of feel like i need a bit of a nutrient boost but can't be bothered to cook so yeah it's been really quiet and chill the house is pretty much clean and tidy i'm probably gonna do the proper deep cleaning tonight when the kids have gone to bed and i'm not battling things like dust and toys and stuff so the west knits clue 2 came out this morning and i have had a look and i'm not shocked it's very very stephen west i had a feeling we'd be having something like what was coming up it's not my favorite kind of design feature that Steve West uses Steve West like he's my mate that Stephen West uses but um, you know it's probably gonna be fun to knit and I think the heel looks very very nice so I'm gonna work on that a little bit today but I do have a, something else to show you yep I cast on a new project last night and I don't even care um I did what I was talking about what I was considering doing and I've cast on a jumper for Jeff it looks so tiny but it will grow out and stretch quite a lot. Um, this is the Monday sweater by Petite Knit. I've made this before. I already had the pattern, already had the yarn and stash that I wanted to get used up. And I just wanted, like I mentioned yesterday, a really simple, basic raglan stockinette. There's obviously a little bit of purling when I did the short rows, but now it's just like knit in the round till it's done. And yeah, just a real nice, palette cleanser i'm probably not going to finish this in one go just kind of as and when in between projects um but i'm probably gonna do a, a decent chunk of this the yarn that i'm using i'm using phil kalana saga which is a lamb's wool and in my opinion one of the most underrated yarns out there it's a light fingering it's it's dry to the touch feel wise but it's not itchy in my opinion and when you wash it it gets so soft so luxurious i used it for my chantilly designs held with mohair but in this case i'm holding it with this which is oh 
I want to see, it's not Cheshire Yarns. Chester, Chester Wool, Chester Yarns, something like that. <laughs> um, and it's their like Tweedy Donegal uh, Superwash 4 ply. And I got this from Wool Bath when I went there last year with my husband for our anniversary. I just bought the one skein of it and I was going to use it in a blanket, but I just, something felt right. Something didn't feel right about putting it in a blanket. And I just thought, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to use it. I don't have enough of this for this full jumper but I know that. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I have another yarn, it's a DK weight yarn, but quite a light DK, and it's like a dark gray, and it's tweed as well. So I'm just gonna color block this sweater, which means I'll get this out of stash, and I'll get some of my other yarn out of stash because that was left over from another project. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm gonna show you why I have made all these decisions. Bear with me one second. <laughs> That was good timing i just got some happy mail the reason i'm doing all this is because of this <laughs> jeff wore this in episode i think two or three the one where it was just me and him for the day and so many people were like oh what's the pattern for jeff's jumper like where's it from blah, blah, blah. And i'm afraid that this is a commercial jumper from h&m and I absolutely love it. I really, really love it. It suits him so much. There's just something about this kind of beigey tweedy that just looks great on him. And the fact that it's a little bit oversized as well. Um, so I kind of wanted to recreate this, but knit. However, it's a drop shoulder and I have had enough of drop shoulders. I've done so many this year. I need a little bit of a break. But you could totally recreate this using my sibling sweater pattern, which is a kid's drop shoulder and a very similar shoulder shaping technique to this. So this is decreasing, which is interesting. Obviously it's commercially made. I'm assuming decreasing is easier on a knitting machine than increasing. Um, that, not that I would know. Um, so yeah, you could use the sibling sweater pattern, but just not do stripes and you'd have this basically and yeah i was just really really inspired by this because i love him in it and it's going to fit him for a long time and i'm probably going to knit something that's roughly the same size as this which is a bit pointless but what can you do i want to you know knit something i know he's going to wear quite a lot and they are slightly different vibes this is definitely lighter and more tweedy and obviously it's going to be color blocked the way i'm going to do the color blocking is i'm going to work the body to about maybe here and then do the dark yarn on the bottom and then whatever i've got left of the white yarn i'm going to split in half and do like down the sleeves and then do the bottom half of the sleeves um in the darker color as well so it looks completely intentional not like i just like ran out of yarn on the body um so yeah i'm really excited by that happy mail what just arrived <laughs> I recently went to the John Arburn Open Mill Weekend. I made a whole video about it if you want to go and check that out. Um, whilst I was there, they kindly gifted me some sock yarn, which I was going to pay for, but they're like, oh no, don't worry about it. And it's like this bright green chartreuse sock yarn, and I just fell in love with the colour. And I was going to use it alongside some other John Arburn sock yarn that I already had in like a dark purple colour. But when I got them home and held them together, I just wasn't inspired by it. Um, but I have had an idea for a pair of socks that I would like to cast on soon. But I only bought one 50 gram skein and I would like to do the whole sock in this colour. With contrast, toes, heel, cuff maybe or maybe not, I'm not too sure. So I needed more than the 50 grams. Um, so I ordered some more. And this is it. Isn't it amazing? It's like the Instagram colour of the year. <laughs> it's just so fun. And then to go with it, oh yeah, I was right. I ordered this one as well. Um, sorry, this one is called Odd Madod. This colour. And this one is called, oh, I can't see that. Something Thimble. Fairy Thimble. Because they're all like names for plants. So Fairy Thimble is foxglove i'm not sure what odd my dog is um but i just thought they go so much nicer together like they complement each other this doesn't detract from this i want it to be all about this with just a little hint of this and pink and green is one of my most favorite combinations so i'm really glad i did that i have made a pair of socks in this yarn before i made like a color work zigzaggy type thing i wonder where they went what happened to this it's a lovely sock yarn it feels rustic but it is super wash and i was really surprised by that when i first got it it is let me tell you 60 percent exmoor blue face super wash treated 
20% Coriadale, super wash treated, 10% Zwartals, 10% nylon. So it does have that rusticy feeling. The Zwartals isn't super wash, so I wouldn't necessarily go sticking this in your washing machine, but it should, you know, it should be yeah i'm very very excited by these and what i really like about the john alban sock yarns is that 10 percent zwartles i'm probably saying that wrong i'm so sorry i really try to pay attention when i hear other people say it um but that fiber is really dark and remains undyed so you can kind of see this slightly mild it makes it tonal it gives it gives it depth it's not just one flat color and that's running through all the sock yarns which makes them go together really nicely that consistent kind of dark fiber between the skeins and it's just lovely it's just lovely so hopefully i'll get to cast these on pretty soon not too sure oh my gosh i'm obsessed obsessed yes right so there's your little morning catch up i am probably going to put something on the telly now and go and do my next sock so yeah, thanks for joining me once again. Let's crack on with the day. <laughs> you had to be there, you had to be there. <laughs> it feels like it's been forever laughing all day. We spin around, we spin around, your hand reaches mine. Feels like I can do anything, just give me a mountain to climb. You see me. spot that I was when I last chatted but uh, that's because I haven't moved <laughs> had the best day not gonna lie <laughs> I've done so much knitting and it is just just what I needed um, gonna be annoying can't show you what I've been working on but yes I have finished clue two of the sock cal just the one sock not both socks and i did shorten the leg i'm not going to reveal anything or show you until next week but i did shorten the leg by like a little bit just because i'm quite funny about the like the leg length of my socks i don't like the feeling of a tight cuff and the fit of my version is like spot on and obviously the higher up the calf you go the wider the calf the more the cuff has to stretch the tighter it feels so I've got like a certain leg length that I kind of go to with my normal socks and I stuck with that here and I, f I found this clue like really really fun I was a bit unsure at first but I really enjoyed knitting it I changed over to um, magic loop because I just it was just getting too hard on my on my hands with those tiny weeny little things basically anytime I need to purl on a small circular it my hands aren't it's not my hands it's my wrists that really struggle with it so for hand health i switched and i'm really glad i did so i was going to have to have switched at some point anyway um i just thought i would show you the contrast yarn i've got for this i managed to dig it out of the spare room when i had a second i did a few more rows on this but not a huge amount of change here just yet but this is the yarn i was talking about and this is the lamana como tweed and this was um, sent to me by simona from knitduck.co.uk full disclosure hashtag gifted not sponsored but gifted because she's my friend and it's 100 percent wool and this yarn is really special because the yardage on it is incredible because of the way they make it i don't know what they do to make it this way but it's really really light so to get a 25 gram ball you get more yardage this is 120 meters per 25 grams so you just get so much more yardage than you would for normal dk it's not the cheapest yarn but it's stunning it's also very very soft very very beautiful and this one is just subtly tweedy like i don't even think you can see it on the camera hang on Yeah, it's subtle. And I use this to make a Sophie shawl, which I have worn a lot since I made it. It's, it's called a shawl, but it's a scarf, isn't it? It's not like you wrap it around your shoulders. You put it around your neck. Um, so I just thought 
this would be a really nice way to get a full jumper using all of this so i think they speak really nicely together and i think you'll get the better effect when i've actually knit it up and also the feeling of this is very similar in texture wise even though this is two held together they feel extremely similar and i think the combined weight i do feel like this is potentially a bit lighter a bit thinner maybe mm. it's hard to tell it'll be fine and if i knit a little bit and it doesn't work i'll just use something else instead like orange would be fun or i don't know i'll let my son choose um but yeah that's where i'm at so it is nearly school pickup time i've got about 20 minutes until i have to go and pick them up we've just had some crazy rain and i'm hoping it holds off because p really wants to ride her bike home <sighs> i'm so tired honestly i have to go to bed earlier tonight i absolutely have to no staying up late whatsoever i think i'm probably gonna have a nice bath tonight once the kids are in bed just to really help me kind of wind down and chill out the stairs are looking amazing it's all it's all in now it's just the kind of last finishing bits now so i can't wait uh, hopefully i'll be able to show you them a little bit later because they're looking awesome and yeah i'll leave it at that because i've got to go and get the kids so i'm going to do a few more rows on this before i have to go i'll catch up with you later one more coat to go on tomorrow morning but for the time being i mean this is just bad i'm not filming my face all the thing am i so we should probably go around to the normal view so when we inherited this house from the staircase it was this dark wood but along here it was slightly higher as you can see there there was a bar on the top and then two um horizontal bars going across Big gaps in between absolute death traps so this perspex had been fixed to it to make it safe it was the same on the handrail there was carpet going down the middle like stuck on carpet which we pulled off and it left a horrible sticky mess and it was just generally pretty awful so we looked into lots of different options we wanted to replace the whole thing but the cost would just be insane it would have been nice to have a brand new staircase we would have had it exactly like this to be fair but in oak to match the floor but that was just going to be ridiculous so we decided to keep what we had and reuse as much of the wood as possible and then my um, carpenter found wood to match and has done all of this beautiful work i can't quite believe it it looks so good i feel like it's modern and nice but still looks like the original staircase a little bit and this is all flush now this top step used to be lower than the actual floor so now it's all nice and flush which is lovely so yay i can't walk on it can't go downstairs but never mind and now my house is empty and free Woohoo! it really does take it out of me having somebody in the house all day like even though yeah like even though yeah even though like he's a lovely lovely guy and he's relatively quiet it's still just like like just just not being on my own it's hard and i struggle with it but today's been okay tomorrow i have to be out of the house all day but i'm going to try and keep myself as busy as possible i will nip over to my mum's first thing in the morning to have my therapy session there because that would be totally awkward to have it here and then i've booked a yoga class at 11 30 
which I will then go to. And then um, my mum might be coming back from holiday tomorrow, not too sure. So I might just be like a bit of a, what's the word, a bit of a nomad tomorrow, just like wandering around. So I'll probably take my knitting with me, take my computer with me. Maybe I'll haul up somewhere in a cafe and just chill out until it's time to pick up the kids. And then I'm tempted to take them swimming. Jeff has missed, they both missed. I'm playing with Play-Doh and it's just been like hassle so far. Um, they both missed their last swimming lessons because of chicken pox. Like Jeff obviously couldn't go to his because he had the chicken pox. Penny couldn't go to hers because I had to stay home with Jeff and I couldn't supervise her. So I'm tempted to take them swimming tomorrow night. Which makes me nervous for a whole number of reasons. Anyway, I thought I would show you something because I think I'm gonna cast something else on. <laughs> I think it's the letting go of the big love card again has just meant all I wanna do is cast on all the new things. Um, I'm gonna pop you in my tripod because this is lame. <laughs> so, I, obviously the school holidays are coming up, but I kind of forgot that Penny is leaving her play group and going up to school. Obviously I didn't forget that, but I kind of forgotten that she was leaving playgroup really and her key worker has been looking after okay, her for two ready. years okay and she also looked after jeff when he was at the playgroup so she, i've got quite a strong relationship with her and i'd like to do something to say thank you and i don't just want to like buy a random token gift i'd much prefer to make her something so i've got a week and a half no i've got a week penny's last session is next friday and she's just there in the morning because it's just sports day that day. So I might see if I can get it done by Thursday. But I thought this might be a good opportunity for me to have a go at the mitten pattern that I want to make for Christmas gifts. Um, and I've also been dying to wind up and cast on this yarn and see what it looks like. Oh, isn't it just stunning? I got this from the John Arban Open Mill weekend and it is a John Arban base, but it's hand dyed by Wool Matters Fibre Company. And it's the colourway tulip and it's all um botanically dyed and it's just it's so vibrant and beautiful and orangey ready pinky gorgeousness um at the same time i don't want to knit fingering weight mittens so i would like them to be a bit thicker because um it would be nice if she could wear them when they had to do like the forest school my daughter's play group is they're like outdoors as much as physically possible like even when it's cold even when it's raining like they'll only come inside if it's unsafe so in the winter I thought it'd be nice to have a pair of gloves to keep her warm so I may hold this double or I may hold it with this because I thought that was a pretty fabulous match this is souffle yarn this is what's left over from my souffle um and it's the Lang Lace and it's super fine. So it's a mohair, but it's got a higher silk content than normal. So it's super soft. And the meterage is really, really long. So I am thinking, well, normally I'd hold a fingering weight and a, a mohair and I would treat that as a DK weight. But I think it would be too loose a gauge for mittens. I think they need to be a bit firmer. So I think if I hold this double and I add this in, this won't make much of a difference. And I'd get a really nice cosy pair of warm, fluffy, silky gloves. Though not that practical, just thinking, for playgroup. Because if they get dirty, they're hand wash only. Am I just trying to find an excuse to make to use this yarn? And I should make her something in, wa in wool that she can actually wash. That's probably a better idea, isn't it? <laughs> Hmm. Right, okay. Maybe I'll save this for when I make teachers mittens because they won't be for like forest school. And I suppose I could still make her these and I bet she already has like utilitarian like work mittens that she wears to get mucky. Maybe it would be nice to have something that's just special for her for nice occasions. And um, funnily enough, she is the best friend of my mum's husband's daughter <laughs> so i was like can you find out a little bit about her see what kind of thing like she likes and apparently she likes really like bright colors and she's quite fun with her fashion and stuff so i think this would be really nice for her yeah i'm gonna do it and if it doesn't feel right i'll keep them 
So I think I'm gonna be casting on another project today. Oh my goodness. Like, cast one off, cast three on. Am I right? I think I'm gonna wind this vlog up today because I feel like I've done quite a lot of chat, even though it's been a quiet day at home. Even though it's been a quiet day at home, I feel like I've done quite a lot of chatting and um, these two are um, testing their boundaries, shall we say, today. So I'm quite keen to get them fed, bathed and into bed and then I can have my nice bath. A nice hot... Oh, I didn't get any wine. I've only got red wine. I don't drink red wine in the summer. Could make a gin and tonic. Anyway, nice, cosy pamper bath and an early night. So I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna edit this tonight, or maybe I will. I don't know. There's a lot of chat, so it'll be quite a quick edit. Um, anyway, we'll see. I may or may not film tomorrow. I'll take my camera with me anyway, but when I'm out and about like a lot, I find it harder to film because I don't take my tripod with me because that's just like, oh no. Um, so I find it harder to film without the tripod and I'm going to be moving about and doing lots of different stuff. So I might just have a day off tomorrow and then see you again at the weekend. Either way, we'll find out soon. <laughs> Thank you once again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Good night. Bye-bye. See you later.